I'd like to have you. I've been quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine, a perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose? Make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine, if only for an afternoon. Ask yourself this, what if the Capitol Congressman could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eden, Great America, and baseball will live again. Recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. Evening. This country will live again. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be its salvation. Until next time, this is President E. So, how's this game? Really? You did? You did? Whoa, really? Raiders and robots? I guess I wasn't the only one to think about checking those doors. Looks like you gotta be... Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. This guy... Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink, um, more, um, better. Yup, you've done a great... Here. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example. So let's buckle down and get to work. More... But I... It'll be easy. One tap... You could test it out on just a few... What do you... Good hunting! The I can't wait to hear how the repel- Wow! What are you- You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave. 
President of America. President of your heart. Good hunting. Good luck with that. Those monsters, the President John Henry Heap, and you're listening to Han Quay Radio. No, those things were the voice of reason in this cold, unreasonable. Beatings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry Heap. Let's chat, shall we? No, you don't care. The grown ups never cared. Now they're all. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. Just help me. Those big things. They're all overgraded. Please, mister. You will? My house is the one closest to the hu- Please, find my papa and make- Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it, but I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Nightly nonsense, or supposed connections to the United States Army. Our armored boy scouts are nothing more than common criminals with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation of the Pentagon as their own personal clubhouse. Don't be fooled, America. Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just as dangerous, even more so being in exile. What about the slavers of Paradise Forum? 